Hey guys, welcome back. In the sixth lesson of the official Bolt series, we're going to set up our heads-up display. Now, in our scenes folder, we have a HUD, or heads-up display, scene that is dedicated to our heads-up display. So we have our hard icons, our key, and our weapon. Then we have the pause menu here. So what we're going to do, since all of our heads-up display elements are already set up in that scene, all we have to do is, from our levels, is load that scene in and add it to our current scene. So the way we can do that, if I just were to drag this scene up here above my level one scene, notice it additively loads that scene in on top of my currently loaded scene. Pretty cool. Now under this for now, I want to go to pause menu. Since we don't have this implemented yet, I want to uncheck that. It's gonna be unchecked. So it's no longer in my game here. And what we're going to do is we're going to dynamically load this scene in at the beginning of every level that we load. So we're gonna create a new macro for this. A flow macro, of course. And it's gonna be a HUD loader, HUD loader. And all this is gonna be responsible for is whenever the level starts, it's going to load in the UI elements. So for this, we'll have to have a start event. So at the start of our level, I want to simply load scene. But I wanna load scene with the scene name and the mode type. So with that selected, I have a mode here that I can set to additive, which is going to simply load in addition to the current scene I have loaded. And the scene we want to load is called HUD, all caps. So now if I were to take this scene, I'm gonna save it because we have that unchecked. So I just wanna make sure I save that first and then remove the scene. And now what I wanna do in my level here, I wanna create an empty game object that I'm just gonna call HUD loader. And on this, we will add this macro, so at the start of our level, it will load the scene. So add component, flow machine, and then just drag over our HUD loader. If we click play, we'll see what happens. And now, as you can see in game, we have our hearts, our key, and our weapon. Now you notice I go to the next level, I don't have my hearts and icons and stuff, so what I have to do is I have to make sure I add that HUD loader to all of my levels. To do that, I will take my HUD loader and I will drag it into my prefabs folder. And that will create a prefab of the HUD loader. So now I can, I, I can use this anywhere else I want to and it will be the same. Just create an instance of it elsewhere. So what I'll do is I'll go to my scenes and I'll go to level two. And then from prefabs, I'll drag out HUD loader. And now that scene will have the HUD display. And I'll do this for all my scenes. There we go. And now if I were to try to play my game, it's loaded in my first level. Let's go to the second level. It's loaded in my second level. Now I cannot complete the second level yet because I have a door in the way and a key I have to get to unlock the door. So let's set that up in the next lesson. My name is Austin and I will see you there.